As the camera industry moves toward 2025, Nikon is preparing to introduce two highly anticipated cameras that are generating significant buzz in the photography world. The Nikon Z92 and the successor to the legendary P1000, tentatively named the P1002 or P1100. With rumors swirling and industry insiders speculating about their specifications, these models are expected to make a substantial impact in their respective segments. Nikon's strategy in bringing these cameras to market reflects a strong commitment to innovation, whether by enhancing its professional mirrorless flagship or pushing the boundaries of super zoom bridge cameras. This analysis delves into the expected features, market positioning, and broader implications of these upcoming Nikon cameras. The Nikon Z9 has been a game-changer in the professional mirrorless camera market, and its successor, the Z92, is expected to push the envelope even further. While official details remain scarce, reports indicate that Nikon is working on sensor enhancements, improved image processing, and superior autofocus performance. The original Z9 was Nikon's first flagship mirrorless camera to omit a mechanical shutter entirely relying instead on an advanced electronic shutter system. It is expected that the Z9 II will continue in this direction, further refining this technology to reduce rolling shutter effects and improve burst shooting capabilities. One of the most exciting possibilities for the Z9 II is an upgraded sensor, potentially offering higher resolution while maintaining excellent dynamic range and low light performance. Given Nikon's history of collaborating with Sony for sensor manufacturing, there is speculation that the Z92 might feature an evolved stacked CMOS sensor similar to those found in the Sony A1 and A93. This would allow for significantly faster readout speeds, reducing lag and improving autofocus precision. Nikon is also expected to enhance its subject recognition algorithms, incorporating advanced AI-powered autofocus to rival Sony's industry-leading tracking capabilities. In the realm of video performance, the Z9 set new standards with its ability to record 8K at 30 frames per second and 4K at 120 frames per second. The Z9 II is likely to expand upon this, potentially introducing 8K at higher frame rates, improved internal recording codecs, and even better heat management for prolonged video shooting sessions. Nikon's video ambitions are further evidenced by its rumored modular Z-series cinema camera, which could complement the Z9 II for professional videographers seeking high-end recording solutions. Nikon's approach with the Z9 II aligns with its broader strategy of catering to professional photographers and content creators who demand top-tier performance. While the original Z9 remains a strong seller, Introducing an upgraded model ensures Nikon remains competitive against rivals like Sony's A1-2 and Canon's upcoming R1. Additionally, Nikon is reportedly working on the Z9S and Z9H, variations that may serve niche segments within the professional market, one emphasizing speed and the other refining existing Z9 features. The timing of the Z9-2's release will be crucial if Nikon launches it in 2025, it would likely coincide with major advancements from its competitors, ensuring the company stays at the forefront of the mirrorless revolution. Nikon has already demonstrated its ability to challenge the dominance of Sony and Canon in the professional sector, and the Z9 II could solidify its position as a leader in high-end mirrorless technology. While the Z92 is aimed at professionals, the rumored Nikon P1002 targets an entirely different audience. Enthusiasts and specialists who require extreme telephoto capabilities in a compact form. The original Nikon P1000 became legendary for its incredible 24 to 3000 mm equivalent focal range, offering unmatched reach in a single integrated lens. This made it an indispensable tool for birdwatchers, wildlife photographers, and surveillance professionals. 
However, its small sensor, limited dynamic range, and relatively slow lens posed trade-offs in image quality. With the P1002 or P1100, Nikon is expected to address some of these limitations while retaining the camera's signature zoom capabilities. It remains to be seen whether Nikon will attempt to extend the zoom range even further, perhaps beyond 3000 mm, or focus on refining optical quality, autofocus speed, and stabilization performance. If Nikon manages to improve low-light performance through a higher quality sensor or better image processing, the P1002 could become the ultimate bridge camera for extreme telephoto photography. Another potential area of enhancement is video recording. The P1000 already offered 4K video, but its limited sensor and processing power restricted its capabilities in terms of frame rates and dynamic range. The P1002 could introduce 4K at higher bit rates, improved autofocus for video, and possibly even better microphone input options for content creators who use super zoom cameras for documentary work. Nikon's decision to invest in a successor to the P-1000 signals that the company recognizes the enduring demand for high-quality bridge cameras. In an era dominated by mirrorless and smartphone photography, specialized cameras like the P-1002 fill a unique niche that cannot be replicated by interchangeable lens systems. While bridge cameras do not compete directly with high-end mirrorless models, they provide a valuable alternative for photographers who prioritize convenience and extreme focal lengths. Additionally, the rumored Nikon P1002 positions Nikon as a leader in the super zoom category, an area where few competitors can match its expertise. While companies like Canon and Sony have dabbled in bridge cameras, none have produced anything that rivals the reach and versatility of the P1000. If the P1002 can introduce meaningful upgrades without significantly increasing its price, it has the potential to dominate its segment and attract a new wave of photographers looking for an all-in-one telephoto solution. With the anticipated releases of the Z92 and P1002, Nikon is demonstrating a two-pronged strategy strengthening its presence in the high-end professional mirrorless market while continuing to support niche photography segments with specialized tools. The combination of flagship mirrorless innovation and a renewed focus on extreme telephoto bridge cameras underscores Nikon's adaptability and commitment to serving a broad spectrum of photographers. Beyond these two cameras, Industry watchers are also speculating about potential additions to Nikon's Z-Series, including new APS-C models and further refinements to its mid-range full-frame lineup. However, the Z92 and P1002 stand out as the most significant upcoming releases, with the potential to redefine expectations in their respective categories. As we look ahead to 2025, Nikon's rumored camera launches suggest an exciting year of technological advancements and strategic market positioning. The Z92 is expected to enhance Nikon's flagship mirrorless offering, reinforcing its standing in the professional sector and keeping pace with Sony and Canon's latest innovations. Meanwhile, the P1002 represents a continuation of Nikon's commitment to niche photography, providing an unmatched super zoom experience for users who require extreme focal lengths.